So you join me on the M5, heading north towards Birmingham and the NEC for the Classic Motor Show. Now, I won't be driving this car home. It's going to be handed over to its new temporary custodian as part of the Classic Car Loan Project. But I thought I'd just give you a quick update of what we've done to the Sierra since we acquired it for free and what we think of it. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. The previous owner, Noel, kept this car extremely well. After giving it a full polish with a machine polisher, I really can't find a great deal wrong with the bodywork at all. Really pleased with the way it's come out. Just put some black trim restorer on some of the plastics, which are actually in very, very good condition. There's evidence it's had a repaint here and there, but honestly, for a 30-year-old car, it's fantastic. The interior is lovely as well, and basically it's cleaned up really nicely. Mechanically, we did give it a service. My local garage, changed the cam belt, changed the filters, fresh oil, new spark plugs, new leads, and a dizzy cap, using quite a lot of the parts that Noel had thoughtfully left in the boot. So mechanically, she's tip top, freshly MOT'd as well. The only thing it needed for an MOT was a rear wheel cylinder, quite remarkable. And now it has a clean bill of health until October, 2023. We're having some work done in the house at the moment and the tradesmen, as soon as they see the Sierra, takes them back to their past years and they seem to do a better job. I don't know if that's a coincidence, but certainly it's a conversation starter and a great way to break the ice. But although we haven't driven it as much as we like, I've been impressed on the times that I have used it. it just runs really, really well. It's like a time walk back 30 years. No, a 1.6 1992 Sierra wasn't exactly class leading for its time, but this one is a really nice example. I'll be sad to see it go. Let's just hope, uh, after all my praise, I can make it to the NEC in one piece. So I'm pleased to report that the Sierra made it here. Our stand is all set up, the car is gleaming, and we're looking forward to meeting the new custodian on Sunday. Sadly, Jeff's had to go home now, baby duty calls, which means I've been left with the task of handing over our beautiful Sierra. And this would not be possible without the classic car loan project. We've got Bob here from the project. So Bob, tell us a bit about the project, how did it come to exist? Uh, the project, we started six years ago. We started with one car and we're now up to about 25 cars. And the idea of the project is to give young drivers an opportunity to have a real experience of a, of a car for the year. And obviously they get support through it, We've got and support from clubs here. We're going to have a family situation, aren't we? So we, we, we've two generations at least to influence. And the project's working very well. Out of the 60 or so drivers that, that have been involved, 15, 16 have now actually bought cars of their own. That's incredible. So open classic cars up to a new generation. Absolutely. Uh, this is one of the newest at 19. 1993 and with cars right back to 1929. Something for everybody. And all the drivers we've had so far have responded fantastically to that challenge. Not just of driving it, but of caring and being responsible for it. I'm very proud to have been associated with it. It's a fantastic project, Bob. Thank you for making it happen. Absolute pleasure. Which brings us to our new custodian. This is Dave, who's going to be taking on the car with his kids here as well. Dave, what made you want to take on a 30-year-old Ford Sierra? Well, it's, it's all down to Bob, really. Without Bob setting up the Classic Car Loan project, I wouldn't have had this opportunity, and it's just it's just brilliant to be able to have the opportunity to have something like this. Well, I'm going to use it as a family car, as it was intended. So it'll be going to rugby, it'll be going to school, it'll be doing a few journeys. I'm not sure I'm going to go to Europe yet in it, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, totally usable. It's a great car. It's a previous owner's done a wonderful job in keeping it. Yeah, I just can't take a smile off my face. It's lovely. It was great to see when you guys saw it and when the boys saw it looking all around it. You loved it as soon as you saw it, didn't you? Yeah. It was great. So you're going to be taking off to school in it. Lock Hall and a Nissan Quash Cry as well. Oh, so yeah. we love it. So. They've even volunteered to they, polish. They have yeah. indeed. There you go, boys. You've got a job. But the good news is, Jeff's also sorted the radio out, so you've got tunes for the drive home. Dad's going to get his ABBA on. That'll be brilliant. Which means, without further ado, I've got these for you, Bob, and I'd like you to hand over the custodianship 
of our beautiful Sierra. There we go. There we are, David. And it's there to be enjoyed. Thank you. Thanks for all your help. And, uh, and, keep and thank touch. you, Phil, for all your help and insurance. We shall look forward to hearing the stories from you through the year. Oh, yeah. Well done, yeah, well done boys. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. We were told when we took on this car from the previous owner, we could have it as long as we looked after it. We didn't scrap it. We didn't break it apart. We gave it a good home. And it sounds to me like we found the perfect home for it. That's what the classic car scene's all about. Well done, everybody. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.